Hi, it's me again with Crow Doll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this logo, and they're when they they're doing it, they want these pieces to meet. So we're going to do them two different ways. I am going to try to take the black away. Matter of fact, I'm going to move that next to the other one. And I could tell that he contoured, so I can go. If you grab it all, you go up to object and you contour it or break the contour apart. That's what, that's the outline, and he's trying to do this. So there's two ways to do this. I went, when I opened up the file, I go to effects and contour. He had it, con he had it contoured on point zero three nine or something. And he also had it in rounded corners. So I'm gonna contour that, but see, that's what he's getting. And that's not acceptable. So what you can do is, one, I would change it to square corners, and I'm going to go 0 0.03. So remember, I'm going to tell you two ways to do this. That is the outline all the way around. Now, that to me wouldn't be acceptable. So we're going to do it another way in a second, but you could actually go 0 0.04. Well, let's go 0 0.06, just to, just to give him an idea. So now you have that and go to object, break the contour apart, select this, go up to object, break the curve apart, and get rid of that inner. If you don't want to cut out that inner part, and he does it because he's going to have a Viking back in the back. So there's one way to do it. Because then if we bring in these P's, UP, that's what it's going to look like. But that not by, might not be acceptable. So what we can do, we're going to do it another way. We're going to take that away. We're going to go to object. See, and even though you have it selected, you've got to select it all. Go up to object, break the contour apart. So this is our original. This is the other way you can do it. Take your shape tool and just holding down the control button, bring these in. And the control button keeps you from doing this, okay? Then take your virtual segment delete key and do that. Now, I would strongly suggest the Smart Fill tool. Left click, right click. <clears throat> now we're gonna contour just point zero two. Go up to object break the contour apart. And now if we take that inside one and move it over. Normally when you click on the center, the inside one's gonna go. Now that is probably more what he wants because it's cutting all the way around all the letters. Now, just a word of warning, you're, when you have a letter that has a slope in it, your contour is gonna increase that slope look. So if we look, if we take that contour away, and this, this is just personal um, preference. Do you want that slope in there? I mean, they're quite a bit off if you go to, well, it's just a slope line. But if you go here and right click and turn that into a line, you would have to do that before you come. See, this box isn't square, you know, Right click, turn it into a line. But I'm going over what he asked. So I'm not going to go any further, but you can correct all that. Anyway, I hope that gave some ideas and thank you for watching.